Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Good Monday morning. I'm Bree Groves with this News 5 update. and Let's begin the five things you need to know with a look at the weather, Sam. So today, I would say some of the most important things you need to know are smoke and heat for Southern Colorado. The smoke will be most visible down the front range into some of the eastern mountain slopes, but especially back farther west, like Highway 50 West, you're going to notice it a lot more when you get out towards Gunnison and eventually Montrose. Temperatures here at home are hot into the 90s, but then some 80s will be out and about over the next seven days. Here's kind of what we're forecasting. Some hot air. So we're stuck in a pattern where we just don't really shake up the temperatures that much. I mean, tomorrow will probably be the hottest day, but then Wednesday through Thursday, Friday, we'll slightly cool back down, but we'll have storm chances. One of them on Wednesday and Thursday, but then a smaller, more isolated storm complex on Friday, getting over to Pueblo, hot from Monday into Tuesday, in the 90s out Wednesday through the end of the week with storm chances. Bree? Thank you, Sam. There's an investigation underway underway right now following an early morning shooting in Colorado Springs. Happened around 530 in the parking lot of the Elevate Apartments on Crestone Lane. We know the victim was talking when first responders got there. We don't know how serious that person's injuries are right now. Students in several southern Colorado districts are returning to school in one form or another today in Harrison D2 and Fountain Fort Carson D8. Younger kids back in the classroom while older students will learn online. D49 is starting remote only. And remember, with kids physically returning to school, slow down in those school zones or you could be facing a big fine. Four large wildfires continue to burn out of control in Colorado this morning. I-70 remaining closed for a 24-mile stretch through Glenwood Canyon. CDOT asking people avoid the high country. More than 1,000 firefighters are working to contain these blazes, which have burned a combined 120,000 acres statewide. And that Grizzly Creek fire now growing to more than 25,000 acres with no containment. The cause remains under investigation. This one forced the evacuation and the extended closure of I-70 through Glenwood Canyon on Sunday. Firefighters focused on protecting buildings right near the gondola at Adventure Park. Direct attack of the fire remained difficult because of the rugged terrain. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.